I absolutely despise this story. It's uh, Sonic.exe, as you can tell. And in order to show you just how stupid this is, I'm going to read this in the worst voice that anyone could possibly ever imagine. Enjoy.
The sky had darkened, the title emblem was rusted and ruined. The Sega 1991 was now instead <gasps> Sega 666. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the water had turned red like blood, except it looked hyper realistic. Fucking retarded. But the freakiest thing that was in that split second frame was Sonic. His eyes were pitch black and bleeding with two glowing red dots staring at me. And his smile had stretched wider to the edge of his face. I was rather disturbed about that image when I saw it. Though I figured that it was just a glitch and forgot about it. After it cut to black, it stayed like that for like about 10 seconds or so. And then another weird thing happened. The save file select from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 popped up. <gasps> and I was like, WTF? What's this doing in the first Sonic game? Really, that's the, that's the first fucking question you ask. Really, what's this not the blood, not the red black, I mean black eyes with the red fucking dots in them. Not the 666. This shit is what you ask. Really? Tom, you're fucking, you're just stupid. Ugh. Anyway, then I noticed something off. The background was the dark, hotty sky of the bad Stardust Speedway level from Sonic CD. And there were only three save files. The music was that creepy caverns a winter music from Earthbound. Only it was extended and seemed to have been in reverse. And the image, uh, the image, the save file where you see a preview of the level you're on is just red, static for all three files. What freaked me out more was the character select. It showed only tails. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Tails. Knuckles. And to my surprise, Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Dr. Robotnik. Sorry. Now, I was sure that something was up. I mean, how can you play as Robotnik in a classic Sonic game? For crying out loud! That's when I realized that this wasn't a glitchy game. It was a hack game. The very thing you honestly stated that you've never played before in your life. You've played before in your life. Score two, Tom. Score two. Yeah, it definitely looked hacked. No fucking shit, Sherlock. It was really creepy, but as a smart gamer, no, that's not what you are. I wasn't scared. Bullshit. Or at least I tried not to be. I told myself that it was just a, a hot game, and there's nothing wrong with that. Anyways, shaking off the creeped out feeling, I picked up the, the file one, chose Tails, and when I selected and got started, the game froze for like about five seconds. Five seconds, folks. And I heard a creepy, pixelated laugh that sounded an awful lot like that that Kefke guy from Final Fantasy before cutting to black. The screen stayed black for about like 10 seconds or more. Then it showed the typical level title thing, except the simplistic shapes were different shades of red, and the text showed only as Hill X1. The scene faded in and Level title vanished, revealing tales in the green hill zone. From Sonic 1, the music was different though. It sounded like a peaceful melody in reverse. Anyway, I started playing and had tales start running like you would in any of the classic Sonic games. What was odd was that as tales was running along the level, there was nothing but flat ground and a few trees for about five minutes. That was, that was when the peaceful music started to lower down 
It's just so detailed and very slowly as I kept, as I kept going. I suddenly saw something and, uh, and I stopped to see what it was. It was one of the small animals lying dead on a brown bridge. <laughs> was when the music started to slow down. I thought you said it started to slow down before. Never mind. Tails had a soft, a saddened look on its face that I never saw him have before. <laughs> and I had him move along, and he kept that worried look on his face. As he kept moving, I saw more dead animals. His tail moved past them, looking more and more worried as the music lowers and he moves past more dead animals. <laughs> I was sad to see how they all died. They looked like somebody killed them in rather gruesome ways. A squirrel was hanged on a tree with what appeared to be his entrails hanging out on each I both wore a piece torn off. <laughs> and the dog had his eyes dodged out of his throat slit. I felt sick to my stomach when I saw his ma massacre and apparently so did Tails. After a few more seconds, there were two more animals. And the music seemed to have stops I still chop tails to continue <laughs> okay okay I'm stronger I'm much stronger now back to the reading after a minute passed after the music stopped tails was running up a hill and when he, and then he stopped he pushed it until I saw why Sonic was there. On the other side of the screen, with his back against Tails, with his eyes closed, Tails looked happy to see Sonic, but then his smile faltered. Um, obviously, noticing that Sonic wasn't responding to him, if not acting as if he was totally oblivious of Tails' presence. Tails walked slowly towards Sonic, and I noticed that I wasn't even moving my keyboard to make him move. So this had to have been a cutscene. Score number three for the idiot. Suddenly, I began to have a glowing feel of dread. As Tails walked closer to Sonic to get his attention, I felt that Tails was in danger, and something bad was going to happen. I heard faint static growing louder as Tails was, but inches away from Sonic, and stopped and stuck his hand out to touch him. Touch him. That foreboding feeling in my gut was growing stronger. And I felt the urge to tell Tails to get away from Sonic as the static grew louder. Wow, you really are pathetic. Suddenly, in a split second, I saw Sonic's eyes open and they were black with those red glowing dots, just like the title screen I thought they were, there wasn't a smile. So there wasn't, thought there wasn't a smile. Yeah, I read that right. Thought there wasn't a smile. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Seriously. When that happened, the screen turned black, and the static sound was off. It stayed black for about like seven seconds, and then white text appeared, forming, forming an image saying, Hello. Do you want to play with me? At this point, I was freaked out. I didn't want to continue with the game, but my curiosity got the better of me. <laughs> oh, fucking idiot. When I was taken to a different level, 
With the level title now saying hide and seek. Oh. This time, I was in the Angel Island level from Sonic 3. And it looked like everything was on fire. Tails looked as though he was scared out of his wits. This time, he actually looked at me and made frantic gestures to me as if he wanted to get out of the area he was in as fast as possible. I was starting to get freaked out by this. I mean, Tails was actually breaking the fourth wall. Tails <laughs> to tell me to get him out of there. <laughs> oh, poor baby. Fucking stupid. So I pressed down on the arrow key and as hard as I could and made him run as fast as he could. A pixelated version of a creepy scene when you meet Shadow at the Ark of Robotics from SA2 was playing as I made Tails tech through the desolate forest, trying to help him escape from whatever he was trying to run from. Suddenly, I heard that creepy laugh again. That awful Jeff K laugh. Right after 10 seconds have passed, as I help Tails run through the forest. And then I started seeing flashes of Sonic popping everywhere on the screen. Again, with just black and red eyes. The music changed to that suspenseful drowning jingle as I see Sonic behind Tails slowly gaining up on him dying. Sonic wasn't running. He was actually flying. The flying pose his spine was making looked very similar to Metal Sonic's flying pose in Sonic CD. Except it was just Sonic and the red and black and red eyes again. Only this time, the most deranged looking grin on his face. He looked as though he was enjoying the torment he was giving the poor little fox as he gained upon him. Suddenly when Tails tripped another cutscene, the music stopped. As Sonic vanished, Tails laid there and started crying for 15 seconds. 15 seconds. The scene was rather upsetting to watch, and I kind of teared up myself. But then Sonic appeared right in front of Tails. Look up in horror. Blood started to come down his blackened eyes. A so a Sonic, as a grin slowly grew from his face as he looked down at the horrified fox. I can do nothing but watch. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Just in a split second, Sonic lunged at Tails, right before the screen went to black. There was a loud, screeching noise that only lasted five seconds. The text returned, only this time it said, You are too slow. Want to try again? And then that god awful laugh came with it. I was so shocked by what happened. By what had happened. Did Sonic murder Tails? No, he couldn't have. He and Tails are like, are supposed to be like, best friends, right? Why did Sonic do that to him? I shook the shock off as I was brought back to the character select. Same file that had Tails was different. Tails was no longer in the box itself, but the TV screen itself, which was flickering with that red static. Tails' expression scared me. 
His eyes were black and bleeding. His orange fur had gone black. And he had an expression of anguish on his face. Trying to ignore it. I kicked the knuckles next. Why? Why? If you're this freaked out, why the fuck don't you just turn this shit off? Ugh, fucking stupid. The laugh came again. And the screen cut to black again and stayed there for another ten seconds. This time the level said, You can't run! I was really freaked out by now. I couldn't really tell if this was a glitch or a hack. Cause you're a fucking idiot. So that's why, that's why, Tom, you're a fucking idiot. Ugh. Or some kind of sick, twisted joke. Or anything, really. But despite my fear I, of what happened next, I kept playing. The next level looked much different. It had the crown of the scrap brain zone. But the sky background looked like the main menu. It had the dark, reddish, cloudy sky. But it was the music that creeped me out the most. It sounded like Gygus, or Gygus, fuck, this idiot can't spell for shit. See, right after you beat Pokey in Earthbound, I also noticed that Knuckles looked afraid, just like Tails did. So, not as much. More rather, he looked a little unnerved. He broke the fourth wall, just like Tails. Kind of looked as if he wasn't sure about going on. But I made him move anyway. He ran down the straight pathway into this dark level. And as he did, the screen... The screen just flickered and static a couple times. And then... And then... <laughs> the last came again? <laughs> then after a few seconds, I noticed several blood stains on the metallic ground. I felt a growing sense of fear again. I'm thinking something horrible is going to happen to Knuckles. He looked nauseated, walking down this blood stained the road, but I still kept him going. Suddenly, as Knuckles ran, Sonic appeared right in front of him, with those black and red eyes. And then, the static appeared again, when the static vanished, showing nothing but black screen with text saying, Show on you! <laughs> Talk. <laughs> it's spelled with an R. You is spelled with an I. Ugh, whatever. I was so scared. Sonic found Knuckles already. What was going on? Anyway, Red Static came again. And then I went. Fuck, I'm getting tired. Fuck. Sorry about that. And then I was. I was back to the level. Knuckles looked like she was panicking, and Sonic was nowhere to be found. And this time, that high-pitched squealing from the Silent Hill was the one final boss was playing. Was this some kind of boss battle with Sonic? I hope to God it wasn't, honestly. Suddenly Sonic appeared right behind Knuckles in what appeared to be pixelated black smoke. I made Knuckles turn and then punched Sonic, but Sonic vanished in black pixelated smoke before I could even land a hit. That terrible laugh went off again. Then Sonic appeared behind Knuckles again, and then I made him punch again. 
is Sonic vanished again, laughing. Knuckles was panicking even more. And even I felt like I was going crazy. Sonic was practically playing with us. He was playing a sick, twisted little nine game with me and Knuckles. Another cutscene played as Knuckles fell to his knees and clutched his head sobbing. I felt his agony. I'm pretty sure you did, Tom. Sonic was actually driving us both crazy! And then, in a split second, Sonic lunged at Knuckles, and the screen went black with another distorted screeching noise that lasted for at least three seconds. Another text message appeared for my souls to play with. So little time. Did you agree? What the hell? Just, what is going on? I started to think that the Sonic was actually trying to talk to me through the game. But I was too scared to think that. Then how the fuck did you think it? Logic. People. Uh, what is that? Fourth strike? Fifth strike? Sixth strike for this idiot? I don't care. I was brought back to the main menu. <laughs> At this time, the second file box had knuckles in the TV screen. His red fur had darkened to a reddish gray. His, his dreadlocks were dripping with blood. And his eyes were black and bleeding, too. And he had a look of sadness on his face. I began to think that those are the actual characters trapped in those TV screens of save files. But I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. So I shut off the game and took a break. Smart move. Biggest move. Smartest move you've made all day. Pat yourself on the back, Tom. Pat yourself on the back. I took a nap. Wish I, wish I had it. Because I then began to have the most disturbing nightmare. I was in pitch black darkness. Though I was under the light, given off by the, a lamp that hung high above my head. So how the fuck were you in pitch black darkness? You are a fucking idiot. I could hear the cries of Knuckles and Tails nearby. They were saying stuff like, Help us! And why did you give us to him? Because I'm like tired of both of you, and that was why. And run away before he gets to you and gets you too. Their cries died out. As I then heard Sonic laugh, his laugh, it sounded a lot like a distorted Keska laughs. You're a lot of fun to play with, kid. Just like your friend Kyle. Though, he didn't last long. I'm scared and looking around for the source of the voice. Won't be long now until you join him and all my other friends. I saw him walking toward me flickering in and out in several directions. You can't run, kid. You're looking in my world. Oh, wait, you're in my world now. Just like the others. <laughs> Sorry for that stupid laugh, but who cares. When he grabbed me, and I saw his bleeding black and red eyes grinning face, I woke up with a fright. <sighs> After a couple of hours, I decided to continue playing the game because you're dumb as fuck. That's the reason. Y y you know what? This, this isn't terrifying. It's just plain out fucking hilarious. I don't know why, but I had to know. I had to figure out why this is happening. So I turned on the computer, turned on the game, and selected Robotnik. Next. I still thought that was wacky, playing as Robotnik. But anyway, 
the level was titled Appeared Again, and this time it said, which I found really freaky. This time, I was in some kind of hallway. Didn't really look like it was from any of the class. So it has the pixelated style, the floor was shiny and checkered, the walls were a dark gray purple with animated candlelight and a few dark blood stains here and there. And there was a dark red curtain hanging above on the top part of the screen. Every 12 seconds or so, that red curtain sways very slowly. But whenever you're playing the game, you can barely see it moving. The music was oddly pleasant. A piano playing a rather sad yet peaceful song. But I knew better. This was the song that played in Hill Act 1, only it was in reverse. Robotnik didn't look entirely nervous like Tails and Knuckles did, but he did have a suspicious look on his face, as if he was just a bit paranoid. He did a little animation when I was I when I was when I just left him standing. He turns his head to the left and then the right at least twice and then shrugs at me, as if he has no idea where he was or what was going on. Even though I was scared out of my mind about what was going to happen, I had Robotic continue onward. He did his usual running animation, you know when you've beaten him at the end of a classic Sonic game and you chase him? as we continue going through the hallway. Then, I stop at a long flight of stairs, leading downward. Now, I was nervous. Even Robotnik seemed unsure of himself, so I dressed onward. Fucking moron. As I led Robotnik downstairs, I noticed that the walls have gotten darker and more reddish. The red torches are now in eerie blue. Then we landed onto another hallway. This one was larger, longer than the last one, or at least it felt like it. And then we headed down another flight of stairs. Down this one was, was much larger. Took at least one full minute. <laughs> That's scary. Full minute. <laughs> and then I heard that hard cackle laugh again. And then the music slowly fasted, faded until it was quiet. As they did, the walls turned more dark red, and the torches were a black flame now. When Robotnik landed onto the third hallway, I noticed he now looked really creeped out. So he tried to hide it. I couldn't blame him. I was scared too. Fag. Sorry for that. No, oh, I don't care. Just he's a fag. I don't care when people say he's a fucking fag. Suddenly, Sonic popped right in front of Robotnik, the same way he did Knuckles and then Red Static. The Red Static lasted for about like 15 seconds, and then it showed me a most unpleasant image. The image showed a hyper-realistic a Sonic standing in the darkness, where you can only see his face while his head and torso faded into black. And when I say hyper-realistic, I mean, like, he looks so real, you can actually see the lines in its blue fur. As if you could actually feel the fur if you touched the screen. That would be completely fucking awesome. I'm not even kidding. 
his face. Oh God, he had the most horrifying smile I have ever seen. And that's saying something, considering I saw the image and start with the game. His eyes are wide and black, and once again, trying blood, which also looks hyper-realistic. And there were two small glowing red dots in those black eyes staring right at me. Right at me. And just staring into my mind. His grin was wide and demonic. It literally stretched to the sides of its face like a Cheshire cat, except Sonic had fangs, very sharp fangs. Much like the werehog's teeth, except more vicious looking. Somewhat yellowish, and <sighs> from the look of it, he had stains of blood and small bits of flesh on his lips. <sighs> the fangs, as if he ate some animal. I stared. As I drew some image for a good 30 seconds, they were taking my eyes off it. I felt as if he was actually looking at me. Looking at me. Smiling at me. And that face. It just took 10 seconds for it to etch itself into my brain for good. Then the screen flickered with red static again three times. And on the third time, I heard a Kafka laugh. Except this time, it started to start a demonic even. It went back to the image again. Except this time, there was the text again. Even though it was messed up. But it was pretty much one of the most Horrifying things I had looked at. I had. At, since I had this game. Life, it was when I read that message while looking at Sonic when it hit me. I realized right there and then. This Sonic was a monster, a pure evil, sadistic, all-powerful, nightmarish. I love the last word, by the way. Demented monster. And all of his victims, including Carol, Spectral, Robotnik, and possibly Kyle, are just his little toys. And the game is the very gateway into his chaotic, nightmarish world. And the very hell his victims are trapped in. Suddenly, in an actual split second, I scream. Oh! A sonic lunge. I can scream, screeching loudly with his mouth wide open to an unnatural light, revealing nothing but the literally, literally spiraling abyss of pure darkness before the red static came again. This time much louder and distorted so loud that it hurt my ears. I yelled and grabbed my ears as the red static screeched for a good seven seconds. Then it stopped and showed nothing but black screen. As I sat there, staring at the black screen, one last text came up. Ready for round two? No! The cat's gonna laugh now, sounding more clear as if Sonic was right behind me. Played again three times as I looked at that text in shock and confusion. Then, I got booted back to the main menu, and this time the third save file had a TV image of a Robotnik in the same tormented state as Tails and Knuckles. Robotnik's skin turned a dull gray, his mustache dropped, and his blackened had blackened his glasses. Brock and blood is coming from them, and he had a mere dead 
like expression on his face. I look at Tails. That goes a robotic, and I cried a bit. I pitied them for the enemy they're going through. They were forever trapped within the game, forever tormented by that horrid hedgehog. And always will be, then the computer shut itself off. I couldn't turn it back on, no matter what I did. I sat there for maybe 25 seconds, horrified, but what had, what had just happened? Sonic is the very embodiment of evil. His torturous people who play his games in more ways than one. And then, when he gets bored, he drags you into the game. Literally drags you into hell, where he can play with you always as his toy. I can't get the game out of my computer. I think it's stuck in there. But at least I managed to turn it back on now. After I sat there for 25 seconds, I heard a voice right behind me. Like a whisper. Try to keep this interesting for me. I turned around to see where the voice came from. And my eyes saw. Maybe scream. with blood stains under its eyes. By the way, I'm not homophobic. I'm not gay in any way, shape, or form. I just... I just really think that this was disturbing. Like, this was the most ridiculous fucking man-girlish thing I've ever read in my life. God, this is horrible.